Hi beauties, welcome back. Coco cares with Jaira. <sighs> yes guys, I'm in my bed today. It has been a very amazing week, very eventful week. It's been birthdays all week, celebrations all week, um, and even shark week crept upon us. And so the cramps have just been the glory of God. But I was like, I am not going upstairs today. <laughs> I am not going upstairs today. I hope they just appreciate me and all my glory. And please do, because this is, you know, I talk about being your best, but you're going to have to receive the message today. I look my best in my pajamas and my turban, yes. Um, but what I'm going to be talking about today, guys, is um, understanding where you're operating from. Where are you operating from? I think right now, more than ever, we have so many operate, so many operating, we have so many people operating from pain and from hurt and, you know, from wanting to get vengeance from, for themselves or even from someone else. And it's not rooted in love. It's not rooted in clarity and in standards and, um, moral and character. And it's, it's, it's one like dishonoring your own character but then it also can um really break down another individual's character and so um that's what that's our our main goal and we're just gonna go with the holy spirit because like i i've said this a time or two before but um i don't write these out like i i always come and i give you guys what i believe the holy spirit impresses upon my heart like sometimes i could be cleaning the kitchen or I could be on a walk and I'll hear the Lord say, talk about this. Or I'll have a situation and he'll like bring me the lesson from that situation. And um, I'll spend time with him. And sometimes he gives me points. And sometimes it's just like I turn on the camera and I talk. But, um, you know, like it's not very scripted. Like I do not like being in front of the camera. I, when the Lord told me, like, start this thing, I was just like, is you sure? But, um, <laughs> here we are. But uh, anyway, let's just get into it. So, when I talk about, um, where are you operating from? I think, well, for me, if y'all been to this channel before, you guys know that I start with your foundation. And the reason I say, the reason I start with Jesus Christ is because that's who changed my life. Like, I was... Well, I mean, while in, it depends on your interpretation, you know, but I wouldn't say I was out here while in, but I was out here really not giving a care, you know, or not giving reverence and honor to God's name and really who he is and what he had done for me. And um, I would say a lot of my actions were just like ritual actions, religious actions. And that's why I do not like religion. Like I am about relationship with anything, especially with God. Um, because I think religion keeps you in this place. Religion is bondage, you know, and it keeps you in this place of always thinking you need to do more or be more or act like this or act like that. When God says the only thing that you need to do is believe, you know, and those religious tact tactics or those religious actions that you do then stem from a place of love with me, you know, from a place of knowing me, but you're not going to fall in love and get to know me just by doing those things, if that makes sense. And so um, I'm all about relationship. And that's, you know, that's why I always profess the name of Jesus Christ, because he's the one who changed my life. And I know if it wasn't for him, I'd be somewhere off just not, not even having half of the goodness that I have. And so whenever I think of like, okay, where am I operating from? Now it's really from a place of, um, am I showing God's character? Am I reflecting God? Am I honoring God? Because God is within each and every one of us. You know, whether someone believes or someone does it, he still made them. And so when I interact with this person, am I interacting with them in a way that I know Christ is within them? Christ, um made them they are even the lord's child 
whether they want to acknowledge it or, or not or am I acting from a place of you know hurt and insecurity and pain and because you did this to me I'm I want to make you feel the same way that you made me feel you know um and I think that's the the great the bigger picture because we do have a lot of people acting from pain and instead of us taking a deep dive on like okay how do I how do I first start with myself how do I get healed how do I recognize my own part that I played and how do I um you know come out basically being better from it so that I can teach people a lesson from love and not teach people a lesson from anger or from vengeance um it's more of like well let me act in a way so that this never happens to me and even this never happens to others you know but it's not coming from a place of love and like with myself i had a situation where i thought i was on the same page with an individual but i clearly was not <laughs> was not and so when seeking to understand with that person um and being vulnerable and expressing my feelings the individual laughed at me and it and it did hurt it was like you know wow but then um instead of just you know acting out I took a moment to stop and reflect how I was feeling reflect on the woman that I want to be and respond appropriately you know and um I was just like I understand thank you um and I took some I took a day to evaluate okay like what does my next action want to be and then from that action let me go back to like my morals and my values and my standards and you know what um kind of woman am I growing into what kind of woman do I want to um um, be held to do I want to be esteemed to and and like I truly desire I'm really all about growth right now you know because I feel like that's the way the only way that we could change the world and I want to be a woman who's honored and respected and people can look at and even if um you know they see me they could be like you know she carried herself well and she um she's someone that 10 years from now I could see her on the street and I would still at least want to say hello to her and so from there, I was like, OK, let me not just react and try to make them feel bad, but let me just remove them from my life because I can clearly see by by them laughing at my vulnerability and my openness, the openness of my heart. There's someone who possibly doesn't value themselves, you know, and if they don't value themselves, they're, they were not going to value me because I am a big believer in the way that people treat you is how they treat themselves and even the way they see you is a lot of times how they see themselves because if you're looking if you have you know um rose colored lenses on and that's how you you wake up you look in the mirror rose colored lenses on you look at someone else rose colored lenses on and it's pretty much all going to be like the same perspective it's not going to be until you go to the doctor and get you know just like oh you don't need these glasses here are some clear ones that it's like oh wow like i am not blurry i am you know very well precisioned or you know like you know that person does not look fuzzy they look actually really you know it's not going to be until then and so um i actually took took some time and i removed access to myself from that person because i was like I'm developing into a woman who is caring and kind and um, really, really striving to walk in love and walk in respect of others. And even friends, you know, even friends I want around me who are going to hold those same um, characteristics and those same values in their life. Because I do um, believe you are the the total you are the sum total of the five people you hang around or the 10 people you hang around or however many people you hang around you're the sum total of those people and so if you're hanging out hanging out with people who don't value themselves don't value others who are not accountable who are lazy who are um gossipers you're you're possibly going to become the next one and so um you know i did some evaluation and i was like the woman that i'm growing into 
is a woman who is sure of herself and who is and is a woman who is okay with being vulnerable you know who's okay with um seeking to understand and expressing herself and feeling and um not assuming you know um that's the woman that i'm growing into and i want to be surrounded by people who are going to value that authenticity you know who are going to value that heart you know that openness and so i think when you operate or when you look at things like that okay like when you look at like who am i like one where's my foundation who am i what do i want to um profess to the world then the next step that you make, you can be sure and confident of it because you know it's from a place of security, you know, from a place of health, from a place of wholeness, instead of um, sitting back and being like, oh my gosh, I was trying to express myself to you and you did this and this and, you know, like you hurt me. And so now I'm going to do this to hurt you to remove this, uh, to remove access from me because you don't care about me and this, you know, it's, it's really more like you, it's more about them, you know? And when you are doing anything for someone else, you're really doing yourself a disservice because you are the, you are responsible for your life. You're the only one who could tr control your life. You're the only one who can give someone the power to love you or to disrespect you. Um, and when you know who you are and you know what you stand on and you know your values and you're rooted and grounded in your foundation, then you can go back to the drawing board and reassess like, okay, I'm going to have to remove myself or remove this person because they're not in line with where I'm going and where I'm growing. And, um, so that was a, a very, um, it was something that made me proud because I I did, you guys, used to be an individual who was um, really like, okay, you know, I showed you my heart and you hurt me. And so really low key wanting to be like, how could I hurt this person? But when you like, hurt people, hurt people. And I think healed people, healed people. I think when you're hurt and or when you get hurt and then you're trying to hurt someone else, you really just dismantle their heart and then they go out and do the same thing to someone else. But when you're holding, you're healed and you're confident and you know who you are and where you're operating from and you um, give someone an action that basically lets them know you know who you are then they're like, it's almost like they gain this respect of like, wow. So then in dealing with someone else, if they ever come across a situation like that, it, it you almost taught them how to now go out and push that forward, you know, whether they are in your life after that or not. And so take that guys, when, when you're really um, in situations, when you feel hurt, when you feel, you know, misunderstood or disrespected, um, take some time to reflect so that you can respond appropriately and don't just react and think about and in your reflection, think about, okay, one, why am I hurt? You know, is there some more healing that I need to do on the inside? Was this valid? Was this not? Um, or do I know who I am? And the reason I feel hurt is because this person is disrespecting my boundaries and not seeing my value. And if that is the case, what do I need to do to continue to grow and hold myself at a high esteem? And then move from there. Because when you move from a healthy and a whole place, um, that's where change begins. That's where you start respecting yourself. Others start respecting you. And that's where self-love really really. Um, I think thrives because we can't really love others if we don't love ourselves. If we're always operating from um, a, a glass half empty, you know, a glass half full, then we're we're not ever going to be able to overflow and pour. I think uh, self love begins with you loving yourself so um, generously and respectfully that you don't allow. Or, okay, let me say it like this. Self-love begins with loving yourself so generously and respectfully that you think about yourself first in a healthy way so that you can be able to think about others second. Because if you're always thinking about others first, and but you're always depleted, 
it's just going to be more of the same reoccurring cycle. They're just going to take from you and you're never going to know. It's always going to be like, why is it like this? Instead of like, hold on, let me put the brakes. You know, like I need to start with me and not you so that I can um, rightfully give to you. But because I've already given to myself, you know, so. <sighs> That's all I have for you guys today. Just go and, you know, in your days, weeks, months to come, we're almost at 2022, 20, um, whenever you go out go out from a place of heal healed from a place of healing that thank you lord and from a place of wholeness and from a place of knowing who you are knowing your standards knowing your values holding yourself accountable because it makes no sense for you to require any certain type of treatment or behavior from someone else if you don't first give that to yourself and knowing what you stand on all right i love you bye